Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's video cast. Casey Campbell here from Great Lakes Post. And look who I found. It's Matt Tift. Um, How you doing? And I'm doing pretty good. And if you haven't heard, he's going to be a car owner with uh, BJ McLeod. He's going to take half of the, uh, what was the Go Fast team. Uh, they'll be partnering with Joe Falk. Um, there's going to be more announcements on that, including who the driver might be and how many races they're actually going to run. How's it going, Matt? I'm good. Yeah, it's uh, like you said, we've teamed up um, with BJ. You know, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. He's the first guy who taught me how to drive a stock car. Um, I did my first truck series race with him at Martinsville and um, kind of cool with Joe. I think uh, BJ did his first start with um, circle sport racing, which Joe was involved in. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, kind of a cool deal and i um, excited to get rolling with it. So first off, I, I think we need to ask the question, how are you doing? Because the last time we saw you, uh, you were uh, uh, you were medically not able to be racing. So yeah. yeah. So what have, what have you been up to in the past year? How have you been doing? I'm good. Yeah, it's been uh, you know the first part of it after the um, you know the seizure at, at Martinsville and, and everything was um, was a little strange because in that time period um, I actually had a lot going on still. So it really wasn't too bad um, because. We got married, my wife and I did, Jordan and I, so um, things were great. Then, unfortunately, I had another um, seizure there in December, so things were a little bit rough there um, for a bit. You know, having multiple seizures is not fun by any means, so um, it's been a battle, but, um, you know, I've been doing some things to, to learn um, what's been going on, so um, did a lot of medical studies and things to try to learn what's been going on in my brain, so I think we've gotten a lot better um, information as far as what medication I take and things like that to get things under control. So um, luckily things are heading in the right uh, direction on that. And, you know, um, I think a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what I've been doing. And, and this is, uh, this has been a big part of what I've been doing. So, um, you know, apart from that, my, uh, my wife and I, um, you know, have a store that, that she runs. So I've been helping out a little bit, but uh, she's been taking off with this boutique that she has down in South Charlotte with Reese Boutique. So it's been cool to, to see that and her do that. So I'm really proud of her. And then, um, you know, really just try to stay involved with the NASCAR community. It's, it's weird not going to the track each weekend. And I know I'm not the only one, a lot of media members and a lot of uh, team members that normally would travel that aren't traveling right now. It's a weird time for, for all of us. So um, in a way, I guess this was probably the best year for me to to miss going to the track because I probably couldn't have been um, going anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what kind of made you want to be a car owner? Yeah. You know, I've, I've always really enjoyed the, um, and, and sorry if you can see my hand switching back and forth here. I'm trying to do my, uh, my self tripod here with my arm. So I might get a little tired, <laughs> but, good, uh, man. um, you know, I think the, the interest peaked a few years ago for me, really, because I really enjoy the sponsorship aspect of NASCAR. I've always enjoyed, um, you know, what goes into running a team, budgets and things like that. And, you know, running over at Front and Row um, was a really cool opportunity for me, obviously, to drive in the Cup Series. But, um, you know, Bob Jenkins over there, he has done such a good job of creating a team from, you know, something that was very small, um, you know, many years ago and has incrementally um, just grown that over the years. And and, um, you know, you just look at them of how they control their budget, but still stay competitive and their relationship with Ford and um, just the things they do to stay relevant in the sport and stay competitive. But at the same time, um, you know, that that was really something while I was driving that I, I tried to pick up on and see what they did. And, and um, you know, my, my dad, when I was younger, um, how I got into racing was he owned a dirt late model team. So even though it's a local small deal, you know, we'd, we'd look at, okay, what are we running for motors? How, um, what's the cost for that? What are the cost of tires and, and things like that? So you look at personnel and doing things at a higher level when you get to the cup series, obviously, but um, you know, that, uh, that was a very interesting thing for me, but I really think as far as the timing, um, you hear it talked about a lot right now, and it's the it's the next gen car. It's a direction NASCAR is going in of of changing things up, of, of going to a new schedule, um, of going to a new car and new model release. So I think that's that's very enticing and exciting for someone like myself to come in with um, BJ and and Joe on that side. But I think the the biggest side um, for me too is you know this is something I want to do for a very long time. I, I love NASCAR. I want to be involved for many years to come. And, you know, right now I, 
I can't drive, but um, but I can be involved in the team ownership part, and I um, I certainly want to use the relationships that I've built over the years to help um, you know grow this team and and uh, ultimately be a competitor in years to come. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, you know, we're seeing all these new teams and stuff, but going back to yours, will it be called Go Fast Racing, or will it be called something else, or what? Yeah, are so. I'm that. sorry, but and I apologize. I'm still getting used to the Zoom deal. I haven't done too much of it. So, um, so no, we, uh, we will not be Go Fast Racing. Archie, um, he will be keeping that name. And uh, in their press release they put out, they're still planning on doing maybe a few races or something there. So we will have a brand new team name. The name, number, uh, manufacturer, all those things will be um, things that we're announcing very soon in the um, coming weeks and months. So uh, that's definitely stuff we're very excited um, and antsy to announce. But we've got to get uh, pen to paper on some of those things. And um, that's, that's stuff we're, that'll be coming up here soon. Yeah. Um, so, you know, do you plan to go full-time in 2021 or do you want to do a part-time schedule? And do you have any idea who the driver might be? As far as the schedule, you know, with us owning the charter now, we will absolutely be full time. And uh, not only are we going to be full time, but, uh, you know, we are going to be a legitimate team um, in there that is contending. You know, um, I was asked on Sirius XM today, uh, Moody had a great question of, you know, there's two ways to make money in this sport. It's to be getting huge backing and be a $30 million bankroll from big sponsors and, and uh, manufacturers and be running for a championship or you're in the back um, and you're just collecting a check back there. We're kind of in a place where we're neither. So um, we're going to be running uh, week to week, but being you know, just paying attention to our budget. Um, but at the same time, we are going to be buying tires. We want to be competitive. We want to have a good pit crew, all that sort of stuff. So it's not just going to be a, a, you know, collect a check for a year and then move on. We're, we are trying to be a competitive team. We want to grow our, you know, our clout in the sport and be able to be a legitimate team when it comes to 2022 and beyond when we have that new car. But um, at the same time, we're kind of planning on 2021 being the year that we had the new cars. So this is kind of a, a strange uh, deal as far as equipment and, and your um, wheels and parts and transaxles and everything you have in there um, is not what we planned on originally. So we weren't have, planning on having the Gen 6 car um, any longer, but here we are and it's uh, an obstacle and a little audible here we're gonna have to make, but that's okay. Um, we'll get through that. But as far as the driver, um, we will have that announced here soon. We're still talking to a, a few folks to see how that's going to shake out. So, um, but we will be full time and uh, announcements on that will be coming soon. Do you have any idea who, um, who you, who, how many people are you, uh, the manufacturer, you're going to, you're probably going to have an alliance with somebody. Um, what, can you tell us anything about that or not yet? Unfortunately, not yet. Yeah, we're a little premature on, on that side. So that's going to be, um, this next week is going to be a very busy week as far as manufacturer, um, driver, alliances, anything like that. So we have things in the works, but um, we're just not quite to the point where we can sit down and announce them yet. But um, I can tell you from the meetings we've had uh, today um, through this weekend that we have for planned for next week, we have a lot of very exciting things and uh, I'm, I'm really pumped up to be able to announce those when they're there. All right. Matt Tift, a very exciting and exciting day for you, BJ McLeod, and everybody at uh, at your new team, which uh, we will find out soon what it will be called. <laughs> Matt, uh, congratulations um, and uh, congrats to you, buddy. Good luck with all right. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you, Casey. I appreciate it.